Hi everyone, it's Gwethorn from Gwethorn's Games and today I am going to be looking at the champion. Uh, we're now on the heroic plus two, uh, which is basically the same as the deadly plus six, so it's the top rank, difficulty nine, and I'm looking at the champion. Now I'm going to give you a quick look. I've, I've decided to go for the fully aggressive uh, versions of the virtue traits and I'm actually running the blue line champion uh, mainly for the sweeping uh, repose which cannot be blocked, parried or evaded but requires a skill parry event to actually activate and I've also got the dire need which restores 30% of max morale and I'm also going with Exalted Combat, which is part of the blue line, which gives a, when your morale gets below 30%, it restores 25% of your morale and happens every 90 seconds automatically. So it's a nice thing. I've all, you've also got Sudden Defense, which is a, a uh, bubble, which pops up. Um, so I just thought, and I'll actually show, I'm not doing anything specifically special, it's just level 15 crafted gear. I've actually got the out of combat run speed from the necklace. But other than that, it's all fairly standard level 15 gear, including the sword, which is a two-handed sword. The blue line champion with the two-handed sword uh, gets a, uh, can, can block. So it's a nice thing. So I just thought I would run a couple of couple of critters to start off with. So white one first. Now, as you can see, it's not having terribly much difficulty with the white white critter. I've got I've actually got some buff bars and bevy of bars prompting me when I need a bit of healing. Okay, let's go for a yellow one. Single. Okay, you can see I've got the the prompting. So the parry which gives me that. So oops, get out of the way of the poison. Okay. So I've got uh okay, we've got another one coming in. Another yellow. So this this the champion itself has not much difficulty with uh, yellow creatures. And again, I'll, I'll show you what I've done. I've actually got buff bars, a bevy of bars. So it, it prompts me for sudden defense when it's needed, bracing attacks when it's needed, dire need when it's needed, and a, an actual heal. Uh, I've also got buff bars prompting me for the removing of uh, wounds, diseases, things like that. And I've got food all prepared and some battle law and warding law, um, which you can see over there. So also the uh, the character itself gets that, that's the morale below 30 boost, but it also has the advantage of reflecting 10% of damage. Uh, which is really nice for, for, for heroic plus two maximum difficulty. Okay, so now that I've shown you that yellow is not, yet yeah, white and yellows are not a particular problem for this, I will actually take on a little bit more. Um, let's have some fun with, it's probably going to end up being three of them and we'll see how we go. The champion is definitely my favorite of all of the uh, heroic plus two characters at the moment. Back out of that. Let's see if it prompts me for the bracing attack fairly shortly. Yes, it did.
And that was three yellow creatures. Uh, with all the prompting, it made it easier to actually know when I needed to do the healing. But that is a lot of creatures, especially given the fact that it's heroic plus two. I'm doing this on Treebeard. Now, as I said, I've, I've gone for Dire Need, which I ended up using. Uh, the Sweeping Repose has maximum boost to damage, and that cuts through defense. So you can see Wild Attack was the main attack. Blade Wall was doing a lot. When you get higher with the champion, you'll actually start pushing over here into the yellow line. Um, not really doing anything with that, but yeah, as I said, the, the, I've, I've picked all of those up, the Virtue Traits from basically uh, Ered Lewin. So that should be all completed, which gives you more or less all four of the traits, Virtue Traits. So I'll actually go and have a look at something a little bit more difficult because three yellows was difficult, but we'll try something a little bit more than that. It's, it's nice to see whether I can actually do orange creatures, one or two, and arches are a bit of a problem for all of the deadly plus six, so it's probably time to see if I can do a few of those. You can see that I'm, I'm in the process of building up the Brie uh, deeds so that I can get more points, more virtue traits, and I'm getting a lot of Lotro points as a consequence of doing all of these. Okay, so let's have a bit of fun. We'll go in and look at what happens when we take on an archer and these. I tried this one before with my Runekeeper, and this is only level 18 with my rune keeper and i had a bit of problems with it no real problems here not even getting much okay got to avoid the poison Go for a bracing attack to get myself a little bit more. And let's just keep going. Okay, so yes, relatively straightforward, relatively simple. Uh, there's not a huge amount of healing that comes with this with, with the champion. You have to rely on the bubble. You have to rely on the bracing attack and rely on the die need. There is another one that comes a little bit later, um, about level in the early 20s, uh, which will give you a heal over time. But uh, pretty much, it's a nice character to play and you really don't have to worry too much about doing online on on level content with it um i don't think there's oh, i might see if i can actually just just to end it i might just see if i can get hold of the boss down here and see how it goes against the boss nice to have that prompt for when the repose can actually kick in having not much trouble at all let's pop the, sh the bubble and we'll go against the yellow boss
done. Okay, so this this character is able to do some things that uh, not that many others are able to do. The uh, the champion is able to pretty much the champion, the Bjorning, the captain, and the runekeeper are probably the uh, the best of the heroic plus two characters that I can see at this point, um, and they're the ones you can get away with being aggressive on on virtue traits uh, and the captain has a lot of good healing but I've been keeping the food up for these characters uh, just to, to give me that little bit more of an edge but as you can see it's not having huge difficulties as long as you keep the healing up okay well, thank you for watching, and we are doing more of these. Uh, we're doing one for every character. We're running the uh, Bjorning uh, pretty much every day uh, at Heroic Plus 2 difficulty, what was Deadly Plus 6. And uh, I will see you in the next videos. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.